Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fire Emblem Binding Blade Hard Mode. I hope you're all doing well today, and, you know, today we're doing Chapter 15, so we're back in Euthoria, and we've got to go rescue the king, but we've got to deal with this first wave of enemies uh, beforehand. Joining me today, we have Dartwich Fanboy. In the great words of Obi-Wan Kenobi, hello there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, General Fanboy. You are a bold one. We have Darth Harshmellow. Hey. And we have Sir Seleth. I had no way to enter, but hello. Yeah, oh, it's she's good. so adorable. Yes, she is. So, yeah, so Faye's gone running off because she's just curious about how the outside world works, not realizing, dude, uh, it's like, Faye, we're currently in lockdown. You can't just go traveling. It's like, says you. So we've got to go <laughs> rescue her because also she's important. She's got the dragon stone and all that, and, you know, and all that jazz. Bless her soul. She's, she's young. She doesn't know any better. Yeah, but obviously the enemy is oh, very nice. well fortified. Oh, a lot of pre promotes too. Wow. Yeah, well, most of my team is thankfully pre promotes so it's yeah, it's it's no big deal. Again, most of my team is uh, more than prepared for this. Yeah, we spent the last, yeah, the last chapter we promoted Sue, we promoted Milady, we promoted Tate, and we promoted um, Okia. So yeah, we've got plenty of pre promotes on our side. This is the chapter to get Percival, right? Yes, it is, and he's got hard mode bonuses, yeah. and oh my god, they are disgusting. So excited. Yay, there's Paladin! He's named after one of the knights of the round table, that's pretty cool. That is a very nice attention to detail. Yeah, like, honest to god, his starting stats are some of the most, are the biggest I've ever seen. I think he, like, most of his stats are in the 20s. I think, um, I, I think I do, like, actually bring up his, um, stat window when we recruit him. By the way, he joins on the, um, he arrives on the thingy turn. Also, yeah, I love this bit between Percival and Douglas, where they're just talking about like how they feel about this whole situation because again i like it when fireman goes into like the minor characters and really goes on to their thing because obviously they're very loyal to the king they don't want to do this but they don't want to risk his safety so it's interesting to see them actually talk about this and like how they're different viewpoints so obviously percival is loyal but not like but he's mainly loyal to the prince of euthoria who is um i can't remember his name but it's the other dancer dude the uh, uh the bard that uh Elfin, yeah, Elfin. Whereas Douglas yeah, so is just one. Are you talking about Elfin? Yeah, I was gonna, yeah, indeed. Whereas Douglas is just one hundred percent loyal to the king. And but Sidious, I, right, and, I think I remember you recruiting this guy. Uh, yeah, you do, but that's not until later. And his recruitment's different. You actually have to save the king. You can't talk to him to recruit him. But what is what is the re re uh, what are his recruitments? Basically, uh, you have conditions. to clear chapter sixteen without killing him. That's all. But he's like right towards the thing and here's the thing, Douglas, again, in terms of being a general, his starting stats are very nice. Like, I think he starts at level 8 with 20 defense and 19 strength and a silver axe. So, yeah. <laughs> he hurts. <laughs> he hits hard and he hurts. Whereas Cecilia's, um, in terms of loyalty, Cecilia, eh, I don't know, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty, she's, I'm pretty sure she's very loyal, though, obviously, you know, being close, um, being Roy's teacher, she's also, uh, you know, more attuned to following, um, to joining on alongside him. Then again, when you get kind of, um, one hit KO'd by Sophia, you, you know, your, 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 your morale kind of takes a, uh, takes a dive. Yeah. Okay, you got, you, you got hit and then some. He oh, yeah, we'll the giant to sell swords, so I imagine that would hurt. Yeah. And how she's alive, I have no idea. We also get Egrin in this chapter. Yeah, I think she just joins. And she's pretty damn good. She doesn't get hard mode bonuses like Klein, but again, she still starts with um, good stats, the B-ranking bows and the killer bow. So, you know, you got that going for her. Hooray. <laughs> Do all people in and Binding Blade have, like, really low growth rates, or is that just certain units? Uh, that's most units in Binding Blade have low growth rates. Uh, most units like have pre very... Are... Well, pre-promotes are, are more... Yeah, they're, they're more likely to... Um, oh yeah, so sorry, yeah, he's actually there from the first time, but obviously I'm gonna stand here so I can just intercept him. Yeah, you have to go with either um, Elfin or Laylam, in this case Laylam. But um, yeah, pre-promotes in Binding Bay do have low growth rates, but not like um, it, the normal base units aren't that much better. So they're a bit better than a Jagan archetype, or are they the same on as one? Uh, it varies from unit to unit, because, like, Klein's got some okay gross, but obviously Nimi's gross are horrible, and yeah, I gave Wendy the boots Is because I always again? do that. <laughs> yeah, it's Wait, Wendy you again. Wait, Wendy the boots? Yeah, oh, I always okay. do. I always give my knight the boots so that they can, you know, they can charge the front line and act as the tank rather than being left behind. That's again, oh, that's I how I love to play. Okay. I was watching Chapter 11, and you're like, I'm not using Wendy. I was like, oh no! Wait. It's like a staple. No, I use Wendy in Chapter 11. No, but you were talking about with Ekmita, you were not gonna use Wendy. I was very sad. Uh, um, 
It's really heartbreaking. But, no, but that, no, I def, I, I, am I, I don't, I know, I, no, I think it's like case of, I'm not using her in Arcadia, but that's because I never, I never use a knight in that shit level. That, no, that's like, that's no way in hell. That's yeah, just, yeah, that's just asking for. Like, you can't use Wendy in Arcadia. You can't use any of them. It's just What's like. What's this guy's name again? Who? The blue haired guy here. Oh, Okia. Yeah, again, most people don't use him. And again, I wanted to show off a different team. He's He joins with Bath, Wendy, and... Yeah, it's Bath, Wendy, and him that join in Chapter 8. Oh, He's okay, the other mercenary. Who talking about. Yeah, the other mercenary. Who's basically this not might be deep. the game that has the most units who could do the triangle attack. I think there's like a total of three groups, I think. Uh, I know the Pegasus sisters and the Knights can, but I don't know about anybody else. I was wondering there was like another group who could do it, but I could be wrong. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there is, but I think it's just, I think it's just two. If, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But it's definitely two minimum. Mm. One thing I remember about this chapter is with Lalem's like, recruit conversation with Percival is just so basic. He just gives him a letter and he's just like, okay. Yeah. Why did she even have a letter <laughs> to begin with? Well, you know, you know, um, well, back then, if you had a let, you know, a lot of um, nobles and stuff like that, if you had a letter from them, it's like proof of ident, it's like kind of like a proof of ident, it got you here, you know, it got your stuff. It's like well, having well, a VIP, it's like having a VIP ticket. If I remember correctly, her, uh, Lalo and Douglas were the ones traveling with El Elfin when they like Look at all that hell left the kingdom. Yeah. Oh man! Really? I already? know. I know. I know. It's already yeah, already RNG bullshit. Yeah. So this chapter's enemy variety is very good. But honest to God, what I recommend, I really recommend going highly offend, um, trying to be really offensive and actually kind of clear the chapter quickly because a, um, you want to um get to Garrett before he destroys the village. B, you want to get uh, there before all the enemies start spawning because yeah, there will come a period where enemies will start spawning frequently. So if you can get through the chapter really quickly, I recommend doing that. There are you know, uh, obviously the easiest way is just to fly over, but if you want, just um, send in a good, uh, strong battalion with uh, ideally pretty good movement to go in. Yeah. Wait, it, did you not bring in Lena to recruit the Berserker? I no, yeah, name. no, Lena's here. Lena's here, yeah, I brought her. And Seer. Okay, yeah, she's the, she, she's a sage at the moment. So yeah, now we get yeah. Percival. Yeah, it's like, yeah, even she, Lena's like, well, that was, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> just, just show him the notes. Like, all right, cool. I'm fine with you. And yeah, you got the green. Yeah, so look at that. You look at that. 20 speed. 20. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, again, 20 speed. 20. Um, sorry, 20 strength. 20 speed. Quite a lot of skill. Quite a lot of defense. Quite a lot of resistance. Again, it's like, what the flying oh, fuck? Yeah, yeah that, there's Alina. I guess I just didn't recognize her as a sage. It's been so long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. She deals. She deals as much. Da uh, uh, she deals the same amount of damage as like the amount of HP she has. Uh, I was always, I was always just like, if I bring in Lelina for my team, I was like, I have to invest in Angelic Robe in her. Just well, yeah, I don't blame that. you. I did the same thing for Shana because again, some of the, some units really need it, especially on hard mode where the normal mode units have their same stats from normal mode, and it really hurts them unless they were really good to begin with. Well, I usually like to save my Angelic Robes for my Pegasus Knights because I like to overextend and be aggressive. Oh yeah, well yeah, then that's a good strategy too. And with their HP, you need the you need the angelic rope, especially with all the archers. Very much. Later so. Yeah, again, yeah, especially with that many archers, because it's just like mm -hmm. again, or again, that will give it to the well. The weapons actually have quite a bit of bolt, so they should be all right. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, now, oh, we, so now we're just trying to, again. I brought mostly people who can just deal a lot of like really good DPS units. I brought to this chapter. Oh, I mean, granted, a lot of them promoted, but yeah. <laughs> Gonzalez's HP is just amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, you think you think that's good? Again, he's already capped his um. And he isn't even promoted yet. I know it's because of hard mode bonuses. Again, he I think he starts with 44 HP. Yeah, <laughs> again, it's just seeing a lot Wendy. Of damage. Yeah, just seeing Wendy this fucking powerful. It's like, and this is hard mode, mind you. It's just like this. This shouldn't be real, but for some reason it is. But yeah, like I said, um, really high DPS. I focus on here. Just because, again, I really want to just rush through these enemies. Like, because again, who do I know not bring? Because um, I, I, yeah, I didn't. I don't think I brought Shana and Tate because they, again, they're not as strong physic um, in terms of just pure damage as the other two. Oof. Yeah, but like again, this this first bit can be kind kind of daunting because there's quite a few. Um, yeah, there's um, there's quite a few enemies well, coming down from here. Just in the background because he can't promote. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's not going to promote until way later. I st again, I still think in the remake, chapter 13, come on, just, sorry, 
16 just makes so much sense. Also, I, don't, I don't remember, does Gary get hard mode bonuses in this? I don't think, no, if he does, if he does, then they must be kind of minor, because I don't, because again, when I, heard, I don't hear people talk about hard mode bonuses when mentioning him, so I'm not sure. That Cavalier just landed 32. It did, but again, it had weapon advantage, so, you know, it was something. Uh, still. 32. Yeah. Oh, no, by the way, I think GBS and a fan hack I'm making because one of my one of the, one of the wars got hit by an axe unit that had a 36 chance twice. Yeesh! Wow, that guy was not having a good day. Yeah, but... like I was near the boss and everything, and I was like, and I saw that the boss was gonna deal a lot of damage to him. And I was like, no, 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 I don't want to take that risk, even though he had a low hit rate. So I just got yeah. Again, if you can get if you can get one shot, and that's the hit rate is abysmal. Don't do it. Uh, yeah, there we go with the critical. But um, yeah, again, watch out for the mercenaries oh, I love here. I that animation so much, it's so cool. It is very cool. Watch out for some of the mercenaries here, because I think some of them have like kill their own killing edges or armor slayers. I'm not 100% sure. Either way. I know one of them for sure has a killing edge. I remember yeah. losing deep to it. Like, oh no. <laughs> that must I was, like, suck. I had to restart. It was no fun. Oh no, it never is. It never when is. an enemy has a killer weapon. Yeah, you always dread that. Uh, no, unless you're unless you're so bulky that it doesn't matter. Again, look at that. It's 26 times two starting off. Fucking hell, man. Like if an enemy just randomly comes towards me, I see they have a criminal. I was like, oh crap! Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Yeah, just fingers crossed they don't crit. So high just to wield that silver lance so easily. Yeah, well, again, first of all, it's just fucking nuts. I mean, he's not my best. You're not on my team. You know, I mean, look at my lady. But still, it's just it's just fucking crazy. I mean, to say to say any paladin can rival a, wyver a wyvern. In Fire Emblem is saying something. I mean, well, Paladins are usually some of the best classes. The women usually end up being the better ones. But again, it varies. Like, if, for example, Epi 7, Marcus is the best unit. But, like, say in this, obviously, Wendy's. Uh, not Wendy. Oh, God, no. No. Um, what'd you call it? Uh, my lady's the best unit. Also, again, that killing edge, even if he crit me, I only do 15 damage. Oh, I've always got a better payoff from Zeiss than I have with my lady. Well, Milady is overall better, but Zeiss is one of those ones where, especially on hard mode, he can really excel because of his hard mode bonuses. Mm. So yeah, now I'm just making a blockade so that, you know, no, um, none of the other um, backline units can get hit. That's one thing I wonder, why in Fates did they decide the criticals can do quadruple damage rather than triple damage? I think because, also, I think, remember, the crit kill axes drop your, like, avoid rate by 20, so to make up for it, they probably allowed it, you know, it's like, well, let, let's, let, 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 let's have them do more damage upon the critical at the cost of, you know, being having less avoid. Which I think is a fair enough trade, but, you know, you give that to Charlotte and she just fucking crits for days. Yeah, she gets that mercenary go after the uh, wow. with an armor slayer. Yeah, again, it's, what, it's the only weapon he had. I mean, to be fair, it, it probably wouldn't have done that much better against uh, Wendy considering her bulk. Yeah, it's three times oh. effective, but, you know, three times zero is still zero. Hmm. Is the other guy muted? He's not talking. Huh? Sorry. Is Sir Self muted or something? Because he's not talking. Uh, I have nothing to say. I'm so sorry. Hmm. <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm wondering, yeah. like, are you muted and don't realize it or something? No, no, no. He's not muted. Again, it's just sometimes again we're all talking a lot, and sometimes other people may not have things. Again, if they don't have anything to say, that's fine. You don't have to, but it's also a case of you know we're all talking. Maybe doesn't want to interrupt. Okay. Yeah. I have yeah. I'm a generator. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, yeah. Let's uh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So Percival's here, and Rory's like, oh, finally we got, well, finally we got him on the, uh, our side. The, uh, a giant weight has been lifted from my soul. Here we go. Does that count? Or... It, it, it counts because, again, it's not a killer weapon or a Wu Dao. It's still a high crit rate, but it's not a killer weapon. So, yeah, now we get Garrett. Uh, again, Garrett's in, in this mode, Garrett's okay, but as far as proof promotes okay. go, he's pretty underwhelming. I actually forgot he even existed. Yeah, again, again, he's one of those ones where you kind of forget is you know, even that. But I mean, again, I like the conversation and stuff like that, and I like that Lalina, you know, again, Lalina's more of a lord than Roy is, but again, I like the conversation and the interaction, it's just that, if, again, I'm not sure if he gets hard mode bonuses, maybe he does and I'm, you know, he's better in this mode, all I know is I people... I the to make her, like, give her her own unique class shape, because she is kind of like a lord. Yeah, that'd be cool, like a mage lord. Something like Selica. Hmm, but better, right? Yeah, well, something, like, yeah, something along those lines. Has there been a mage lord, like, aside from Akaya? Um, uh, unless you, well, no, no, Lewin's not exactly, again, unless you count Lewin as a lord. Not really, no. Again, most lords are either sword or summer axe and there's one or two lungs. 
So I like fan hacks, they make it like lords wield different weapons. Like I've seen one that has a bow lord, and I've seen another that has a dark magic lord. Yeah, well again, it's because people are kind of just bored of lords always using the same weapons. I mean, again, it makes sense because again, it's usually um to make the game easier to uh, for, especially for like new players just using a very standard weapon it's easier to go with also because swords are just more symbolic with like you know battle and power and all that jazz well, I'm gonna find out the holy axe so yeah um wait, oh yeah oh okay. wow oh color me impressed <laughs> it's like it's like oh, no. dude you, you had, so pointless you had one job yeah, again, I looked at those stats, and again, I looked at those battle properties, I was impressed, and no, you just, you done fucked, lad. Seriously. That was your one chance to prove your worth. Yeah, one chance to prove your worth, and you done fucked it. Again, who does that? Seriously. Get, get to the bench, I don't want to see your face. <laughs> yeah, I really, 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 really don't. Okay, I, I, yeah, I am not impressed. Oh yeah, they got the Valkyries here. At least they're not the FE7 Valkyries. Those things are fucking 45, dangerous. Seriously, well, yeah, this is by the blade, but well, still. Forty-five ain't too bad. It's still within the fifty percent margin. And then these guys are like getting the fuck out of here. I think you get a Knight's Crest for rescuing them. Oh, which is pretty easy to do because they exit all the way to the um, south east. Is Lance already promoted? Uh, no? Lance, no, Lance is not promoted at the moment. Perfect. Again, I use the I use the Knight's Crest on Wendy. Mm. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, Lance, I'm taking that Knight's Crest. <laughs> do you plan on do you plan on promoting Lance or Yes I do. Okay. Because again, Lance is the out of Lance and Alan, he was one of the cats actually was um what? Oh you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, you gotta be yeah, kidding me. Uh he was one of the oh, actually there stuck around. <laughs> like, oh, oh you gonna dodge me, huh? <laughs> well, let's see about this, shall we? Get a, yeah, you can't dodge, dodge the critical. My deck and I'll hit twice as hard. Three times as hard actually. Yeah. Dash, darn it. I was kind of low-key hoping that would crit. <laughs> I was hoping too, but unfortunately not. It's, no, no, it's a 2%, not a 32%. So just, uh, again, I'm just charging forward because, again, um, a lot of enemies will spawn from those two... Uh, what do you call it? Um, those two fortresses. So I was just like, you know what, fuck it. Um, just go straight through and just deal with them before. Because I remember last time, because I was training up Sophia, it was a bit slower, so I had to deal with waves and waves of respawning units. It was ridiculous. Yeah, and there he goes again, just <sighs> asserting his dominance. Oh my God! God, who d who designed this game? Because the unit again they, is one of the knights. Yeah, again, I I, I know I know Fire likes his paladins, but this is ridiculous. I've actually only ever used two pre promotes in my entire Fire Emblem. That was Titania and Seth. Now well, I kind of want to start using. Like, well, pre promotes. Well, well, wait. Uh, what about like Fates? I haven't played Fates yet. Oh, so. right, fair enough. Because, again, it's kind of, quote-unquote, mandatory to use yeah, the pre-promotes yeah. in that game. Yeah. But, um, um so, yeah. But, um, all right, go to talk about well, stuff again. You know, they're starting one, especially on hard difficulties kind of thing. But, yeah, there's a lot of pre-promotes out there that are really damn good. Like, if we go off the games that you play, so Sacred Zone stuff, like, Seth... Uh, Is there something Seth, of all the Cavaliers retreat? Uh, yeah, they just um, they just leave um, the map because, again, they're on your side now. And let me do, like, do you, like, get, like, a special item for... Uh, Knight's Crest. Right? Yes, yeah, Knight's Crest. But, um, the, one th the one thing is, if they start engaging enemies, they don't retreat, which is annoying. Which is why, yeah, that's enough reason to be hyper offensive, so you can clear out the enemies, so that they will, you know, just they'll they'll get lost. But um, so I was going to think. So obviously, in terms of pre promotes, Duessel's pretty cool. Uh, uh Saleth is pretty damn good, and then also was there any other pre promotes in? Say well, there's Serene, but she's yeah, she's all right. Are any other pre promotes in Sacred Stones? Honest to God, I uh, there's oh, there's Saleth Ennis, but I think yeah. Douglas. Uh, oh, wait, no, not Douglas, uh, Dussel. Dussel. Yeah. Um, there's, um, there's, um, Innis, but uh, Innis is good stats, it's just a poor class line. So, yeah. They have that stage. Yeah, that's what I meant. Let's yeah. give them a skill that always hits, yet they always have high skill. <laughs> yeah. And again, it's just a case of, like, being outdone because, you know, just ha just go with Ranger. But, um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing out on one or two. One or two. But the point is, yeah, there's a few. And obviously, in part of Rains, there's actually quite a few pretty cool pre promotes. Khalil's pretty cool. Um, Stefan's Wait, really Serene's damn... a pre promote, right? Yeah, she is, but she's kind of one of the lesser units in um, Sacred Stones. But again, Path of Radiance is. Oh wait, uh, um, stuff like that. I'm assuming. I'm assuming when you use Titania, it's Path of Radiance, right? Yep. Yeah, thought so. Um, so obviously, Stefan's pretty damn good, despite du um, the his poor class sign. Khalil's pretty damn good. Largo's quite impressive. Har's damn good. You know, there's quite a lot of damn good pre promotes in uh, Path of Radiance. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about Har. I guess I use Har a lot, too. Yeah, Har's awesome. Well, in Radiant, don't... Yeah, yeah it's like, why, why would you know? Technically, in, like, quote-unquote, free promotes in three houses, like, does Catherine count or something? Yeah, Catherine and Shamir, Alois, uh, Gilbert, Sephith, they're all pre-promotes. Oh, uh, okay. Sephith is I have never disgusting. used Gilbert for my entire life. Uh, I mean, to be fair, you not many Catherine people use Gilbert. Plus, she becomes way better with Thunderbirds. Um, well, yeah, Catherine with Thunderband is interesting because it's a great weapon, but it also has really shit hit rate. Yeah, that's why I actually invested her in a bone rank so I could make her an archer and give her hit rate plus 20, and after I gave her that, she became way better with hitting with it. Yeah, I mean, I made her an assassin just to focus on both bow and sword. So again, he's, he's like, oh, the reinforcements are- hit rate and the admin troops battalion, which increased her hit rate like about, I think, 60. Yeah, ooh, that's nice. But so obviously, you know, it's like, oh, the, uh, the battalions are, it's like, oh, we're ready for respawning units. Uh, the enemy's right here, sir. God, oh, fuck. <laughs> well, shit, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Oh, I mean, you got away from the ambush spawn, at least. That's yeah, your, very true. It's Ambush spawn. Yeah, very much. Ambush spawn and binding blade. And Wendy's just like, hey, it's like now I'm now I now I've promoted to boss killer. Process. Gotta love it. Hashtag get she fucked. Went a long way. She did indeed. It's like this girl isn't human. You mean Faye? No, you! <laughs> How'd you get this fucking strong? <laughs> Wendy's just killing bosses with an iron axe. This is insane. Yeah, I gig, give it time, give it time. And oh god, god look at that. 20 17. Th no, no, but 20 yeah. strength and 20 defense. Weird level ups in three houses as well. Yeah. Because well, for some weird reason, all my mages got strength blessed. That's, well, we get it. Seriously, they I mean, all have over 10 strength, even Lysithia, who has 11. You know what's funny? Lysithia can use. Three. You know what's funny? Lysithia has the crest to allow her to use Thunderbrand. <laughs> yeah, but I'm using, like, a, like the current round of doing, I'm calling it an everyone is here run where I use everybody. Well, everybody like, that everyone you can. Is over level 30. Okay, well, everyone that you can, because only because every there are certain characters you can't get unless you play a specific pathway, so you can't. Yeah, like Gilbert yeah. and Hubert and other. To do and yeah, Hubert to do and stuff like that. Well, obviously, obviously the Lords. Well, to a certain extent, everyone is here. Yeah. But again, oh, it's just again, it's funny because Wendy actually now has the same I defense. Hug her so badly, she's so adorable. I know she is absolutely adorable, she's and more, she's got more attack than Douglas at this moment. I'm just like, holy shit, man. You need a soundboard then, and that sound effect you used to play for floor, you yeah. know? Holy shit! Oh, oh no, you mean the platelet one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably make, you know, I'll probably do that as a it's thumbnail. Like, oh, or something like that. Yeah. It's way show. God, yeah. So, because we rescued a uh, thing, we get a knight's crest, so hooray. Yay. Um, I think we used, yeah, I, yeah, I don't like know how many. I was like, what's so adorable about the platelets? And I searched up a video of them and was like, I want to hug each and every one of them. I know, they are just it's the so sweetest cute. little things. But anyway, so that's the end of that, that chapter, so ladies and cute. gentlemen. Yeah, that's the end of that chapter. Thank you very much to all my co-commentators for joining me. This was really fun yet again. I'm glad oh, that you pleasure. enjoyed it. And so next time we meet, we're going to storm the castle. We're going to defeat Narsian, rescue the king, and we've got and we're going to go in full force with a proper decked out team. It's going to be one hell of a fight. Until then, thank you all very much for watching. We will see you next time. Take care and have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.